Hey everyone, welcome to Into the Breach. I'm going to be playing a new game and this is going to be a blind run, so let's just hop right in. Humanity destroyed. The Vec threat unstoppable. Well, we failed. Open a breach. Time to go back and try again. Uh, so this game is a roguelike strategy game. Uh, it's tile based and we'll we'll see that in a bit. I want to just go over a few things. We've got the Time Traveler, which is our main character, basically. Uh, when he said, let's open a breach, he basically went back in time to try and prevent this whole Vec invasion, from what I've gathered. I've only seen just a couple minutes of gameplay, and I watched maybe a few videos, and I really wanted to play it. This game uh, was created by the same guys who created Faster Than Light, one of my favorite games. So um, let's just open it up real quick. Uh, these guys are the pilots, and they'll be manning the uh, the mechs that we see here behind us. And it looks like we'll have uh, plenty of other guys to pick from when we unlock them. But right now we only have Ralph. Uh, let's go ahead and rename him real quick. And while I do that, um, we have here our Rift Walkers, which are our um, our squad basically. We have the combat mech, and we can go ahead and highlight them here. He's got a fist, so he's a melee build. Prime class weapon, punch an adjacent tile, as I was talking about, this is a uh, tile based strategy game. Punch an adjacent tile, damaging and pushing it, and there's the enemy right there, for 2 damage. We've got the cannon mech, fires a powerful projectile that damages and pushes its target. Uh, it only does 1 damage, but um, unlike, or like the punch, uh, it'll push back the target, it hits. Uh, they all have 3, oh no, these two have 3 health, and this artillery mech will only have 2 health. The artillery mech is a ranged class weapon and a powerful artillery strike damaging a single tile and pushing adjacent tiles. So one, da um, yeah, one damage here, uh, but it can hit multiple enemies in the sense that it won't deal damage to them, but it will knock them back, whereas these pretty much only affect a single target. Uh, I'm going to be playing on normal, and again, this is a blind run, so sorry if I make a bunch of mistakes, but we're here to learn, so let's just hop right in. I do believe there is a simulation, so I might be covering that first. These corporate islands are the Vex breeding ground. We saved the world, so we're going to start off. This is the only one we have so far. Archive Inc. This museum island recreates old earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. We got the CEO, I don't know what that's for. And the environment, which is pretty neat. And right there, so is the Vec and the leader. Okay, so I'm kind of rolling through everything here but I, I want to see what it's like when we jump in here we have our squad archive Inc. head office if you are from the future you'll find our island is even further back in time than you are expected I'm not a very good reader if not for the Vec I'd have loved to give you a tour of the old earth relics there is a combat si combat simulation available to get new commanders up to speed and I will like to start the simulation so let's just go Okay, power grid. This is the power grid. Whenever a building is damaged, it will be reduced. So essentially our health, but instead of the combat mech's health being what we worry about, it's the building's health that we have to worry instead, represented by these tiles. Enemy attacks. Every enemy attacks is forewarned. It will be indicated by this all this red. Next turn, this one will attack the buildings. Hover over an enemy to see details about its attack. Okay. So I'm holding control right now, and it says unit status. Uh, it will launch a volatile mass of goo, so it's a projectile based attack. And that's my mech. You can punch, so that's the melee one. Click on your mech, move it closer to the enemy, and punch it. Okay, so I can click on a, a weapon, or just use the number one here. And I'll just punch it. For two damage, nice. Your mech's punch pushed this unit. It will now attack a new location because he was moved from this tile to this tile. Punches can save buildings from enemy attacks or even make enemies attack each other. So I can basically divert their uh, their attacks. You can push weapon effects. We can push, we can damage, or we can push and damage uh, for any sort of combination, which I think is pretty cool. End turn. When all of your mechs have used an action or there is nothing left for you units to do, press this button to end your turn. Oh, that's plain and simple. Okay, so he attacks the mountain, but that's not a building, so I don't have to worry about that. And now he's going to target this building, and he's going to target that building. 
That's my tank mech. It shoots a projectile. We went over that earlier. Let's go highlight this guy. The fangs unit. Webs the target and then prepares to bite it. So he's going to attack that for 3 damage. Yeesh. So what I want to do is... I'm going to go ahead and move him here. And punch him again. Now he's dead. And I believe I'm going to do this. I Let's go see if he's got any sort of range to him. He does, but luckily I have just enough range to... Uh, take out the fangs unit. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And he only had one HP. We'll end of the turn. And so that those guys are going to emerge and let's summon new enemies. One, two, three. So, oh, okay. I get the artillery mech. Artillery weapons can shoot over obstacles like mountains. Nice. So it doesn't shoot straight forward like the uh, the cannon mech. Um, but it'll only damage the one that it, that the missile will come into contact with. Other tiles on adjacent uh, spaces will be just pushed back. So no damage there. With that, I, I'd like to see if I can select him and then push these two back. And then with the flying unit, I'll do it for one damage. This unit fell into water, killing it instantly. I did see that in a video before, so I knew about that. Anyways, we can just finish him off with Punch Mech. Excellent. And we just end our turn. Oh. Um, you still have units that can act. They will lose their turn. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. So I like how we are given the option to just end it instead of just running around doing nothing. So now they all emerged. And we get to see all their actions. One, two, three four so since he's not a land unit he's not affected by the water which is nice or not nice every mission you win by defeating the vec or fighting them until they retreat so we don't necessarily have to take them all out because there is a countdown to victory and then there are bonus objectives here missions also have bonus objectives completing these will earn you additional resources after the battle so there's a sort of incentive to um not just play the game however you want to play it and like scrape by which i think is cool that being said, we've got one building under attack and two of our mechs under attack. This guy is in a load of trouble. He does do two damage, so we can take care of that guy right away. Um, these two I think I can take care of. However, this might be an issue, so I'm gonna first I'm going to select him. Oh, okay, so I do need to move him. I'm gonna move him here. And then I'm going to fire. And I'm going to move these two away. So it not only takes care of the uh, building being under distress, but he should be able to attack him now. Then I'm going to launch or move this guy here. And now he's away from that. It's I feel like I'm playing chess, to be honest. Except it looks way better. Okay, so I did make the mistake. I did want him to attack him, but that'll be okay. With that being said, I think this guy can just fend for himself and attack that guy. Uh, that is all my actions, so we'll go from here. Oh, one shot's a miss. He's going to miss as well, and he'll just attack the mountain. All the buildings are active still, and now he's getting his chance to go. I'm really liking this turn-based uh, gameplay. Uh, it's nice and quick for them, and in the options here, you can... Uh, edit the combat speed, which I think is uh, a nice little feature they added. Now I'm going to get this guy out of here. So let's see what actions we have to do. We have these three, and these two can still move. Uh, he is going to attack this way. So I don't see anything wrong with what's going on now. I just want to get rid of this guy. So he will attack. And now he's going to attack that guy. I think that's pretty much it. They're going to attack that way each other, so let's see what happens when we end our turn. Gonna hit. Cool. He's gonna hit nothing. Then he's gonna hit his friend here. Excellent work. One. I can take care of him. I believe I can take care of him. I can take care of him too. Cool. Ooh, okay, maybe I can't. 
Okay, so he can take care of that guy. I know you can take care of that. Which means it leaves you to take care of him. Okay, cool. So we'll do one of these. A nice little push. We're gonna move him here. Attack the flying bug. Vec. Whatever. And that ends that. So I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, again, this is just a simulation to get started. We either get victory in one turn, or we can just eliminate the Vec. I'm going to see what it's like to just get the victory by um, the regular battle victory when they retreat. So he's going to go back in his little hole. And we complete the mission. All right. Just a simulation, folks. Nothing to be congratulated for. I'm confident in your ability to save the planet after such extensive training. Damaged power grid. This power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. The VEC caused damage before you arrive, but there will be opportunities to restore it. Mission rewards. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objectives. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. I think we only get, uh... We already have one green section, and then there's, uh, what, like six or something more? I think we only get to choose, uh, three other ones to pick from. Power cores. Used to upgrade your mechs. So these are the, uh, rewards from the missions. Grid power. Like this little lightning bolt. Restores your power grid, so the health. If your power grid reaches zero, you lose. That's kind of cool. And then core reputation. Used to purchase items once the island is secure. So essentially money, health, and then, um other sort of currency for upgrading. Warning, missions with more potential rewards will have additional dangers. High risk, high reward. So that's cool. Uh, so far, I'm really liking the whole UI. I like how everything is sort of intuitive and user-friendly in the sense that, oh, you know, look, you can test your mech out. That's cool. Um, everything you pretty much highlight and it'll show you what it is so you ever forget. And this game doesn't have or I would assume that this game has a uh, steep learning curve, but it eases you into it nicely. So maybe it's not that steep. Uh, we get to look at all these little pilot pictures. It's cool. They got their health. Uh, this is where the re reactors are for the upgrades. And we can just uh, spec into it. So it's got that um, sort of roguelike class feature. But if we do lose, the power grid reaches zero. Uh, at the beginning, he said to open a breach. And that sort of says, hey, you get to restart, but you get to bring one of the pilots back with you. Uh, I'm not sure about the mech. I know the pilot is um, the one to go back in time. So you get to use him in your next playthrough, him or her. So um, with that being said, uh, I guess that implies that death is sort of inevitable. Or not inevitable, but it'll be likely considering it's a roguelike. And I guess that borrows it from Faster Than Light, but Faster Than Light didn't have this sort of uh, recycle feature with your characters. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this game, and I hope you guys are too. And I will see you guys in the next one when we tackle our first mission. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.